I started learning piano in primary school. Music didn't necessarily click with me, but I, mean, I didn't dislike it. Uh, but when I got to high school, the teachers that I had noticed that I really, uh, I really clicked with jazz, and so they started encouraging me with jazz. And I started learning there, kind of teaching myself. And uh, when I got to university, that's when I really started doing jazz and learning. Um, and it was, it's been a long journey, and it's been an interesting one. The first time that I heard jazz was actually uh, the tribe, tribe, the band Buddy Wells and Mark Fransman and Kiss with Nighty. And I immediately fell in love with the saxophone. And uh, the next year, I started learning saxophone, and it was quite amazing because Buddy became my teacher. And uh, he was quite instrumental in guiding me with regards to who to listen to and giving me music and just concepts and it was really, it's quite an honor to actually be playing with him now as, as someone who mentored me. Growing up there wasn't really any jazz played in my house, it was either classical or light pop that my mother liked to, you know, like Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand and stuff like that. <laughs> it's all good music, but uh, not jazz. So when I got to university and I met people, I got introduced to African jazz, and I really, really fell in love with that. And, and, and that really sparked an interest in, in what I'm doing today. I would say that my biggest influences musically have been Moses Malekwa, Bacon Seleko, and then saxophone. You know, I love saxophone players. I don't really listen to much pianists. You know, the Joshua Redden and Michael Breaker, Kenny Garrett. You know, I listen to those guys. Also, the more commercial musicians like Michael Jackson, Bob James, Kirk Whalen. Um, I love Deep House, I like dance music. I don't know if that comes through, but I love it. <laughs> I find being a child of someone from outside of South Africa and someone from Africa, finding an identity is really difficult. And I suppose that what makes my music so different because I don't have one fixed identity. It's, it's you know, it's an, it's an amalgamation of many different things, things that not only have been part of my upbringing but things that I've grasped onto myself and I guess that's what makes me the musician I am today I love all sorts of music I love pop I love gospel I love African music I love soul Latin everything so you hear all these influences in my playing and yeah that that comes through in, in the music on the album and that's, that's why I'm just really so excited for people to hear the music. <laughs>